Willie Wu, an ex-Angel investor and current cryptocurrency advocate from New Zealand, initiated the on-chain analysis model to forecast the future value of Bitcoin. Unlike the stock-to-flow model by the pseudo-anonymous analyst Plan B, which links the future value of Bitcoin with its scarcity, the on-chain analysis is based on analysis of available public blockchain transactions. In this video, we will explain the basics of on-chain analysis and how it works. Welcome to Simple Crypto, where we simplify the world of cryptocurrency. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you can stay up to date on cryptocurrency. The on-chain analysis appears to be best for long-term traders since it gives an in-depth idea of what's going on under the tip of the iceberg. Long-term trade refers to a crypto investment that is maintained for at least six months to a year. This model is based on particular Bitcoin on-chain data metrics that you can easily find on public ledgers or resources. One of the best resources, also used by Willy Woo, is Glassnode.com. If you're interested in learning more about some other resources, check out the links in the description. From the on-chain analysis found on these different resources, we are looking at four important data points. Number one, the total accounts on the blockchain. The number of accounts is equal to the number of public addresses. For an accurate calculation, analysts consider the number of accounts, the average number of accounts created per day, the average number of active accounts per day, verified accounts. All of these points are relevant to measuring activity on the blockchain network, which further contributes to forecasting the future value of Bitcoin. Number two, transactions on the blockchain. For analysts, measuring real activity on the blockchain network is of utmost importance. The more transactions, the more the activity. Blockchain analysts take note of real human activities, such as transactions on verified accounts and operations, such as a set of software instructions while carrying out a transaction. By segregating the two, analysts figure out actual activity on the blockchain. Number three, staking. Staking generally refers to locking some amount of your currency or asset on a blockchain and making use of it later. Higher the percentage of stake, higher the user base. Hence, higher economic activity. Number four, dollar value of the transactions. A higher economic activity on a blockchain is quantified by the number of real human transactions carried out across different blockchain networks. For instance, sending 500 bitcoins to multiple blockchain addresses reflects more economic activity than sending 500 Binance coins across the same network due to the dollar value of bitcoin being higher than that of Binance coin. After extracting the above data points, you will get a fair idea of the historical trends as well as a comparison of different crypto assets with Bitcoin. On-chain analysis use these metrics to separate the speculative value and utility value of Bitcoin. In simpler terms, on-chain analysis provides you with an idea of whether a cryptocurrency is overvalued or undervalued. As Willy Wu mentioned in an October 2021 podcast, we look at coins that may potentially be supplied. These are the coins that aren't locked up in long-term holding situations. They look likely to be sold so you can run the ratio between demand and supply. So those guys that aren't selling are on the demand side and the guys that might be selling are on the supply side. And you get a whole family of supply shock metrics. In January of 2019, Bitcoin hit the lowest point in terms of prices. The daily transaction volume was on a steady rise as per Glassnode.com. Soon, after a lot of crypto market analysts predicted the future value of Bitcoin would go up to $55,000 after the May 2020 halving event, Willy Wu reminded Bitcoin traders that this bold prediction based on the stock-to-flow model did not take into account the bear market that Bitcoin was already in. He did so using the on-chain analysis. What do you think of the model? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Also, if you found this video informative and useful, please like the video. It greatly helps the channel and helps YouTube find similar viewers like you who are interested in learning about cryptocurrency. Until next time.